the time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Wait, does this mean school is closed? I think so, darling. Yes, no more school. Nice one, Norris. His name is Boris. Boris, Norris, it doesn't matter what you call him. He's making dreams come true. Idiot. Well, I'm going to catch up with the girls. We're going shopping and I'm going to the cinema with Jack. So see you all later. Lola, it's not just the schools that have closed. Government have closed everything apart from essential shops. Yeah, me and at the shops, Mum. I don't think New Look constitutes an essential shop, darling. We are staying home for the time being. But why can't I just go and see my friends? Well, because of the virus. Did you not just hear Look, this? there's no way I'm going an entire day without seeing my boyfriend. Are you mad? Enough, Lola. Sit down and be quiet, will you? We need to fully understand the do's and the don'ts, what we can and can't do. There's going to be a lot of change, and we need to pull together as a family to stay safe from this virus, OK? Wait, can we still see that in Grandad? I don't think we can, Teddy. Stay inside, does that mean hide? We'll be home all along. What's going on outside? Well, that doesn't sound right because my mum says I have to go to school for her to go to work. I think she's getting confused. All the parents don't seem to understand what's going on, but basically our parents are now teachers. We don't have to wear uniform at home, but our parents are going to teach us Monday to Friday. No, it's different for kids like me. My mum's class is a key worker, so I still need to go to school as normal and all my friends get to stay at home. My dad used to be a key worker in Timpsons. He trained up to the top and did all shoe repairs too. <laughs> no, Ted. A key worker is someone that worked with the NHS or supermarkets. My mum's a nurse for A&E, so she still needs to go to work and help the sick. Anyway, I've got to go. I'm at my dad's house and my brother wants his phone back. Me and you on line 6.30 for a game? Yeah, cool. See ya. Bye. Everything all right, right? It just doesn't seem fair that all my mates are going to be playing the Xbox at home and I'm going to be at school in some weird bubble without my friends. Look, mate, this is all very temporary. You want us to be at work to help fight this virus thing. The harder she works, the less time you'll be with like, your friends at school. Yeah, I guess so. But what about you? Your mum isn't a key worker and your dad, well, dad's just dad. Who's going to homeschool you? I'm year 11, Rai. I won't be getting homeschooled. It's just been announced that our exams have been cancelled and they're figuring a way to score our GCSEs. How can you do that without an exam? Well, they can round up what we have done in a year, I guess. But you... Yeah, I misbehaved and didn't listen for the job of the year. I know, and now it's too late to tell Dad that. And it's far too late to make it all right. He's going to go mad if I don't get the grades for college. He's always preaching that he wants to become more than he ever did. Which, between you and I, isn't overly difficult. You are going to be in so much trouble. I think I'd like to say my mum's that day, please. Apologies, I thought of a mute. It's day one of homeschooling and my seven year old and I are just realising the telephone practice wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, my camera's on, is it? Oh, great. Hi, team. Happy Monday. Yes, John, I'll call you back in about half an hour. Thanks for understanding. Have a good day, all. Easy. 
That was my first work on the day. Why can't you just sit down and read like a good girl? That was funny. You got told off by your boss. Is that your boss funny? <laughs> Who else saw you on the camera with Nutella in your face? What? What Nutella in my face? Look in the mirror, mummy. Edie! It was just a joke, mummy. I put it there when we were cuddling. I didn't know you was going to go on camera with your work friend. I'm so sorry, mummy. Please don't be angry at me. I was no, just... No, no, no. Please don't cry. Right, come here and do your reading. Mummy's working with. We're going to run on the spot, and when I say duck, we duck down, okay? So we're going to run on the spot until I say duck. Let's go, right? Everybody run, come on. I can't touch my toes, so how am I meant to do that stretch then? Mum? 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 Can you hear me? This guy is a moron. His voice is annoying, he has stupid hair, and I can't do half the things he's telling me to do. I'm not doing it. Mum? Okay, I'm taking your sciences and you're not having to do PE. Okay, I'm really doing it now. Ava, shut up. Mum's in bed, not feeling very well. That's why we have our homeschooling schedules on the fridge. Just do your PE for goodness sake. That's all right for you to say. You have English from 9am, which basically means you're sitting on FaceTime to your friends whilst I'm down here jumping along to this idiot. Stop being such a little brat. If you wake her up, she's going to go mad. I'm up. Thanks, girls. Thanks for just waking up and getting on with schedules that I sat up late last night, writing out for you with a splitting headache and a temperature that can melt gold. Thanks for being so sweet and understanding and not shouting or raising your voices. It's not as though I feel like I've been hit by a ten-ton truck. Sorry, Mum, I did tell her just to get on with it. Uh, no, you haven't even been doing your work, so you can't blame me for actually trying. Yeah. Yeah, you weren't trying. Now, I'm going to come downstairs and pour myself a coffee that I won't be able to taste. You, Emily, will come down and sit at the table to do your work. I don't want your teachers thinking I keep you locked up like Anne Frank all day. And you, Ava... Get your backside into the lounge and finish PE. I am on a call. Can you all just shut up? I can't have this every single day. I am meant to be working. Great. Now your father's pissed off and shouting. More shouting. Brilliant. Is that you, Tim? Did you get the flour for me banana bread? What on earth do you look like? Did you seriously go out like that? Tina, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. The supermarkets are rife for it, love. I'm just trying to protect us from catching it. All oh, you're catching in that is a bloody laugh. Look at you, you wally. I'll tell you what, Tina. See if people like you start taking it seriously, soon I'll be out of this mess. But I am taking it seriously. I stand in cup on a Thursday night at 8pm, don't I? Also, who are you to judge? You go out for two jobs a day when you're only allowed out once. Well, at least one of us is moving. You need air lifting out of this gaff by the time lockdown ends. Shut up, Tim. Now, where's me flour? I want to make me banana bread. It'll seem even the supermarkets want to put you on a diet, love. No flour to be had. So you're telling me that between Aldi and Sainsbury's, you couldn't find me one bag of poxy flour? You're winding me up. Seriously, not an ounce of it. No flour, no pasta, and no toilet roll. Apparently people are bulk buying and leaving the shelves bare. How selfish is that? I mean, what am I meant to do now? We all agreed on the group chat we give Mary Berry's banana bread recipe a go. And I ain't got no flour. Can't you just try a different recipe? Maybe make a... What? A what, Tim? What cake or bread can you think of that doesn't have flour in it? You idiot. How about... We shift the shopping into the kitchen and sit and think up some questions for the family Zoom quiz tonight. Yeah, but they better be hard. Your brother ain't winning again. His new bird is a cheating swine. You can clearly see her on her phone and no one says a word. 
It's just a bit of fun, babe. Yeah, well I take fun seriously these days. Coronavirus shuts down the UK. The government have shut down everything. Breaking news. The virus forces a dark of life as lockdown. numbers of cases people rise. People are being told the government to stay has home. insisted that all people are now to stay at home. Stuck in the, the prison of your house, Boris Johnson has decided to put the Prime whole Minister UK in lockdown. Care. Care. Hope the government the virus has virus shut down everything. Is this our new normal? As coronavirus cases rise, people wonder if this will really end soon. Stop the spread of the pandemic. The government have shut the down everything. The virus forces a dark as number of cases rise. The government have shut down everything. London on lockdown. Breaking people news. Are being told Prime Minister stay put home. into intensive care Is this the new the normal? Virus. As coronavirus cases rise, people wonder if this will really end soon. Stay home and save lives. Holidays and families are cancelled and people are losing their jobs. There are thousands in the hospital. I read it in an article. Homeschooling is a mess and teams just crashed again. I just want to see my friends and folks before it says that COVID will last. Help us, help us. We have been stuck inside forever and nothing is I can announce today that for the month of August, we will give everyone in the country an eat out to help out discount. Meals eaten at any participating business, Monday to Wednesday, will be 50% off up to a maximum discount of £10 per head for everyone, including children. Did you hear last night's announcement? We can meet up, George. I know! How amazing is this? First things first, when? Wednesday? What time do you finish school? I finish school at 3.15. I finish at 3.30 but can jump straight on the bus to town. Perfect. I'll get my mum to drop me into town. Where are we going to eat? Nando's? Yes, chicken. I've missed Nando's so much. Mum said we have to book a table, which is a bit weird, but I can get her to book us one. Please, 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 Mama won't let me go out with my friends. Please, can they come with you? Can you hear my sister? No, what's she saying? Is Eleanor coming with us? Eleanor's going with you. Where? Oh, please, can I come, Georgia? Please, please, please! You don't even know where we're going. Alice, are you bringing Eleanor? Nah, she can stay at home. Um, Alice, I can hear you in there, and I've already spoken to George's mum. So if both of you are going, then Eleanor and Victoria are coming with you. But mum... What's darling, it's only fair. Yes! Apparently they have to come. Great, Victoria, you're coming, but don't be annoying. Yes! I'll get mum to drop us to town. Uh, we'll be able to get the bus straight from school now. See you Wednesday. Yeah, we'll do. See you Wednesday. Send me a pic of what you're going to wear. OK, we'll do. Bye. So everything is pretty normal now. Well, the new normal is everyone keeps it fair to it as. We go to school every day. The shops are open. We can meet in small groups. Masks, just another thing you pick up on your way out the door. Life is pretty normal again, I guess. It's nearly Christmas and we can mix the three households. So, Mum's cooking and my grandparents, auntie, uncle and cousins are coming around. I'm excited to see them. We actually haven't been on in the one room since last Christmas, which is just crazy. We were meant to see each other at my cousin's wedding, but that got cancelled in July. So, despite the year we have had, I'm sure Christmas will be great. Five days of fun with my family. Given the early evidence we have on this new variant of the virus, the potential risk it poses, uh, it is with a very heavy heart, I must tell you, we cannot 
continue with Christmas as planned. Confused. Surprised, but not in a good way. Frustrated. Deserted. Isolated. Annoyed. Downhearted. Set Unexpected. Worried. Perplexed. Sad. Depressed. Annoyed. Scared. Unclear. Worried. Really, really sad. So Christmas is cancelled? Will I still see my family? Will we still Christmas Day? What does this even mean? Some some of the country can have Christmas with their families, but we can't. Is Santa still allowed to come, Mummy? Dear Santa. Dear Boris. It's been a crazy year and there's been so much change. We have listened and followed all of your new rules. We haven't even seen our friends and now you're closing the schools again. I failed my English GCSE and can't go into college. I spent most of my year in Deutsch, just like you said to. I followed the schedules and did PE twice a week. We isolated for 14 days when Mum got Covid. Tell us, is there an end in sight? We are going into 2021 the same way we left 2020. Can you give us hope, Boris? give you Christmas. What will we get in return? So as I've been such a good boy, could you ask Santa to leave my presents downstairs? Could you thank the children of our nation for giving us all hope and proving that through their imagination and creativity, the future is bright? This was just a letter to say that the children of your country won't retrain and we won't lose hope as Project 19 helped us to cope. Day by day we do as we're told Day by day and it gets really old You told us we could Now you tell us we can't You told us five days and now you changed the rules Cancel Christmas and cancel my schools What can we give? Is this how we
<laughs> Ray, come on. Ray, come on. Slow. Be more slow. Slow. Be more slow. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sing it again, Bill. How's it going? <laughs> Look around and you'll see the world. What <laughs> him? What f cake or flat? Oh. What cake or bread can you think of that doesn't have flour in it? Tell us, is there an end in the verb? <laughs> you have the children of this country. <laughs> <laughs>